afternoon. I'm so happy to have you in person and so are all your students. And uh, I think there's a screen. And Steph, is, you're gonna keep the screen up for... Um... Yeah, everybody can see it. It's okay. just going. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that we weren't blocking the view for anybody who's behind it. So you have a, a double view. Um, but yeah, if you need to move, there's some more pads around, but also I know a lot probably want shade, though I'm happy to have some sun, personally. So thanks so much again. Uh, we are going to start off the concert with our one of our youngest groups, and I'm gonna ask uh, one of the members of each group to come and talk and tell you what they're about to play. There will be a virtual program available um, later, and uh, and that you can have for, uh, you also have the, the YouTube concert. YouTube and yeah. Yeah, YouTube and everything else, so you can have a second enjoyment of it all. And then we will also be sharing one of our virtual groups, both here in person and in a virtual sense because um, our harpist is zooming in from uh, Long Island, New York. So uh, it's kind of a fun thing to be able to do here. And any, the uh, students will also each, um, I think Kyle will talk a little bit about this later, but there are t-shirts for each of the students to take um, and a mask and they can select various t-shirts. And uh, we'll bring that up again later in the program. So thank you so much and uh, here's our first group. My name is Ezzy, the quintet that we think it's down. Sorry, sorry, oh, yeah. hear you better. There you go. The quintet that we'll be playing is um, me as first violin, Claire as second violin, Kayla as third violin, Jacob as first cello, and Hadley as second cello. Uh, we will be playing Rondo by jo Jean Joseph Moret. And uh, enjoy the piece. Shelton is going to be second violin. Uh, Julian Wong uh, is going to be on cello, and I'm going to be uh, 
my name is Olivia and I will be on viola. And we will have a special guest. <laughs>
trio number one. I'll be playing with Andrew and Michael. special treat because this is uh, with thankfully being outside and with vaccines and all we've been able to bring our wind players back with us and so Kengo uh, was able to come and do the recording for Camilla but also is able to come and perform with us today so we're very excited about that and the leaks Rasmus Gray who is one of our coaches is going to play with them so you can get the piece twice virtually and in person oh and I should tell you it's the, the piece is fall of the leaf by Catherine McMichael, a composer. Well, it's an arrangement, uh, or it's inspired by a poem. And um, Catherine is a composer from the Michigan area.
Hi, my name is Camilla. This piece is by Martin Pearson, but it is arranged by Catherine McMichael. My favorite parts are the descending scales because it symbolizes a leaf falling from a tree. When it's forte, you can picture the wind blowing the leaf and it swaying from side to side. Overall, it was a very lively piece and it was a lot of fun to play. as an exercise. And um, we, it was written for two violins, a cello, a viola, and a harp. And we, um, we, 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 we I, I play oboe, yes, <laughs> instead of violin one. And so we just worked on the challenges of trying to make a wind instrument sound like a string instrument. Thank you.
Hello everyone, my name is Kyle. I'm the cellist with the Cavani String Quartet, and yes, I do happen to be Stephanie's brother and Debbie's son. Um, so it's a pleasure to be back here in Worthington. CMC is so special, and I have to say, this is the first time we've done a concert in this very uh, makeshift venue, and uh, probably one of the first times I've attended a concert in a cemetery. But it's, uh, but you know, we make the, the best use we can out of it. And uh, Stephanie and Debbie have done really amazing at putting up these tents and making this all possible in a safe way. Um, and the students sound amazing, so kudos to them. Let's give them another round of applause. Awesome. So I know we have a few groups left. Um, and yes, every student should get a t-shirt. The t-shirts are well known across the country amongst musicians for CMC. We all wear them. Uh, Eric, our Bills from Cavani, has been wearing one already today before you even showed up. So I have to wear them around the country. And, and anyway, so if you want to be really awesome, really cool, and wear your Mozart shirt to Buffalo Wild Wings or wherever you venture out to, um, you know, feel free to, to look at the t-shirt bin back there. Uh, it's free for the students. It is $20 for the adults, but it supports a good cause. So if you're feeling up to it, um, that would be awesome. I think we have Pia Zola next, so um, I will leave the stage. Hi, everyone. Um, thank you for coming. Um, my group will be playing um, Asta Piazzolla's um, Four Seasons of Buenos Aires. We're going to be playing the final movement this spring. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you.
sing Tango for Tango by Astor Piazzolla.
We are the Dodge String Quartet, and today we'll be playing the WC Quartet in Opus 10 in G minor, the first movement for you. He got a lot of the um, inspiration for this piece from uh, living in Paris, France, so try to look for all the colors he implemented in writing this piece. Thank you.
recognize all of our competition ensembles this past semester and uh, the Dodge Quartet and Los Poquitos uh, Trio were both quarterfinalists and uh, did master classes today from Fishoff as well as all the master classes with the Cavani String Quartet and coachings and also I wanted to recognize Dodge here who received the silver medal at the St. Paul String Quartet competition uh, just a week two weeks ago was it two weeks ago it was just a few weeks ago something like that so congratulations dodge on your silver medal that was amazing so exciting. and uh, i want to also send my sincere thank you to the kamani string quartet who've been with us since yesterday afternoon have done so much work with all of our students and so inspiring and i just I want to send my love to Annie and Catherine and Eric and Kyle and then also to Stephanie for all her work. This is an, this just would not have happened for without her expertise and learning all this contraptions of technology. So thank you, Stephanie, so much. And also to Jonah and Julian Tagawan, who are alums, who came back to help us all afternoon and morning and were just fantastic with our fellowship students. So. Thank you all, and thank you all to parents and family and friends for supporting your students and your, our participants of our festival. Thank you so much. Have a great evening.